Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mengsa, and I welcome you guys to the start of a brand new Civilization V playthrough. Uh, and we are going to be playing as Sturm of the Black Hole Army. Yes, indeed. You heard correctly. We're playing as Advanced Wars Theos. So, after a recent stream I did, I um, talked about how I used to play Civilization V with Fire Emblem leaders, which was a lot of fun. I think I played as Hector, I played as Roy, and I think I played as. As, uh, I don't remember which other ones I did, but I did multiple playthroughs. And I asked myself on stream if anyone had made Advanced Wars mods for Civilization V. And to my great joy, I visited the Steam Workshop and I saw that there actually exists a whole bunch of them. So I decided to create a Civilization game full of Advanced Wars CEOs. And I decided to play a Sturm because... Uh, I want nothing less than complete world domination in this game. In fact, I've turned off all the other victory types. This is just going to be a slugfest. I'm going to dominate the world, because the way I see it, Sturm doesn't care if you build a space station. And he certainly doesn't care about your artworks or culture. He's just here to destroy and conquer. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing. The game difficulty is also going to be set on Deity, because um, Sturm looks freaking OP, based on what I'm seeing. Just look at these bonuses. His civilization bonus is called Enigmatic Invader. Conquered Cities generates three science, culture, and gold. I mean, this is bonkers. You will conquer a lot of cities in the late game as Sturm. And this is going to stack to insane degrees. Additionally, his units gets 15% combat strength. I kind of wish it was 20. Would have been a nice nod to his advanced force two day to day. And they ignore much ter rough terrain. Basically how this works is uh, his units will move at twice speed through hills and jungle and forests. They will be slowed down by rivers though. He has two incredibly strong, unique units. The first one is Meteor Strike. That is a nuke that doesn't cost uranium. And that is incredibly good because in the late game, you're usually limited by your uranium supply. But I can just keep building Meteor Strikes with no regard for my uranium reserves, which is pretty damn good. And he also has a unique modern armor replacement in the Neo Tank. They have extra combat strength and they also move faster and have extra vision. So, yeah, these will be very fun to conquer the world with. I'm very much looking forward to that. And additionally, I've also made it so that this playthrough starts in the modern era. This is why we start with three settlers, four riflemen, and two workers. I figured since most of the Advanced Wars CEOs have advanced unique units, that it doesn't really make a lot of sense for me to spend several parts playing through the medieval era, you know, playing around with archers and swordsmen. I want to get straight to the guns. So that's exactly what we're doing here. We start off with three spies, Kindle, Lash, and Clone Ola. <laughs> So yeah, we have our first start right here with the glorious Sturm music playing in the background. And the first thing I'm going to do is just send my riflemen out to explore, see what I can see. So let's go. And uh, well, this already looks like a pretty damn good expansion. We have two sources of wheat, horses, ivory, silk, iron. I think we're going to go down and plonk down our first city right here. So this is the Black Hole HQ. Now, addition, in addition to uh, the unique things that we can uh, have access to, there's also a unique building here that wasn't shown in the dossier called the Black Crystal. This is a unique hydro plant that doesn't require river or aluminium to be built. And it makes every single tile around the city generate one food production or gold. This is absolutely insane. This is probably the most OP building I've ever seen in Civilization. I'm going to build this in every single one of my cities, and it's going to be glorious. However, for our first building, I'm actually going to start off with a National College. And the reason why we're going to start off with a National College is that our techs are going to take very long to research, because we don't start with a lot of science. And I'd like to get Great War Infantry as soon as possible, because we start with so many riflemen. And I'm assuming I'm going to have some neighbors, because I'm playing on a relatively small map. So I'd like to get those Great War Infantry out as soon as possible. And uh, we'll see if we can wreck some havoc with them. So here, um, I already see potential expansions. There might be one over here. I do see the ocean here, so that's good. I might be able to get an ocean city. So I'm going to send some settlers down here to see if I can settle. And I'm going to set one of my spies on counterintelligence duty. I haven't met any civilizations yet, so it's not like I can really do a whole lot with them. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and focus on the wheat. And I'm going to set my city to food focus. That's usually a smart thing to do early on. Because you want your city to grow as fast as humanly possible. And getting that national college is also incredibly important. So we also have to adopt uh, a ideology. And uh, between autocracy, freedom and order, we're obviously going to go autocracy. I mean, there is really no other way to go with Sturm. We are planning to conquer the world. So uh, as for our social policies, I think we get five when we start this early on. 
or when we start in the modern era, I mean. And I'm definitely going to go and fill out the honor tree immediately. So we're going to grab discipline, military cast, we're going to get professional army, and a free great general. And the reason why I want to go honor is because when you fill out the honor tree, you will get gold for every single unit you destroy. And this is pretty much going to power our economy in the late game. We are just going to declare war and get gold from killing units. That is pretty much what we're going to do. So that's my plan. And so I'm going to fill out the military tree. And as for this great general, eh, I'm going to send him out. Help out my riflemen. There might be some barbarians nearby. So we have our first potential city right here. Pearls, fish, and wheat. Um, no river, though, and tundra. So, no, I'm not a big fan of this location. Let's go over here. Uh, looks like at the border of a city-state, so that's not going to be super ideal either. Uh, we could go this way. Ooh, this looks to be a little bit better. Now, storm civilians will not have the ability to walk through rough terrain, so that's something you got to keep in mind. Uh, let's go over here and see what we can see. I love how they dart over terrain like this. It is so satisfying. Hmm, I see a river here. So this does not look like a good location, nor is this. There's too few resources there, and it's too close to the HQ. Let's send the settler this way, see if we can find something up in the hills over here. So uh, we also need to see if we have any neighbors. So, oh, look at all those ideologies that got adopted. So let's see, we got autocracy, autocracy, order, autocracy, autocracy, <laughs> order. <laughs> Order and autocracy. Okay, so most people are autocracy. That makes sense. Hello, Zurich. I couldn't find unique advanced war city state mods, so we had to go with regular ones. Also, there's a wonder here, Sripada. That's cool. It gives faith, which is not very good since we turned religion off, but it's still a natural wonder. Still nice to discover it. All right, so what do we have over here? Let's see if we can find some good city locations. I'm gonna go over here. And oh, who's this? <laughs> Captain Greyfield of the new Rubinel army. <laughs> so this is the so-called leader of some backwater nation. You will do well to remember that if you are in the presence of I, Greyfield. Cross me at your own peril. Uh, yes, indeed. Greyfield. So, um, as a personality, I think, or like, his personality is probably going to be very erratic, I imagine. He's probably going to denounce you a lot, declare wars. Probably not very loyal. Uh, based on what I know about the real Greyfield, I love how he has a picture of himself there. That is so hilarious. I love this. Um, now, I've read up on all these leaders before starting the game, but I'll show you their unique units. So, Greyfield, he has uh, a unique battleship that can move after attacking, just like in Days of Ruins. That's incredibly strong. They don't have extra combat strengths or anything like that, but they can attack and then dart back. So, they essentially have Kanto, which is really good. Uh, he also has the Rig, which is a support unit that heals nearby units and can also build railroads. So that's really strong. Uh, so starting with that, like, that is a fantastic unit. I don't know if the AI knows how to use it, but we'll see, I guess. But if Greyfield is here, that means that he's probably somewhere nearby. Uh, I like this. Ooh, we have oil. I need oil. Uh, oil is going to be so integral to this playthrough. So I will settle I will settle anywhere that has oil because I need to build a lot of tanks to conquer the world with and tanks require oil. So uh, I am definitely grabbing that city location if it's not too close to Greyfield that is. We'll have to see. Uh, we'll also need to see if there's any other resources here. So here, ooh, here we have a pretty decent city. We have truffles, iron, fish, stone. Yeah, I think we will go and settle here. That was pretty lucky. As for here, I don't see any amazing locations, so but we'll continue to explore. I think he's very close by. Uh, I think that's the edge of a border right there, so I think his city is literally here. So since I plan to be very aggressive, I think I will actually forward expand against him. I actually think that's exactly what I'm going to do. Once I get the National College, the replaceable parts should research a lot quicker. And that will allow me to get great... Oh, hi there, Barbarian Encampment. What are you? Oh, you almost... I almost missed you. <laughs> I also got this nifty little music add-on right here. Which allows me to change the music, which is kind of cool. Yeah, I'm going to wipe out that Barbarian Encampment. Thank you very much. So, uh, let's see if we can find any more. And yeah, I'm gonna definitely settling my se second city here. And I think I'm going to do, go my, do my second city here. But we need to find out where Greyfield City is. Oh, there we go. Wow, that's actually very close. Oh, speaking of which, I need to send my spy over and spy on him. So if I settle a city here, then I'm going to have a river between me and Greyfield. And that gives me a defense bonus. 
I also have a great general, which I can use to build a citadel, which is really strong in your forward attacks. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to send my settler like this. And what I'm going to do is... Well, obviously we want to explore a little bit more, but I think I'm going to settle a city here, because that'll give me oil, sheep, bison, eventually. And it'll also give me an observatory, because it's next to a mountain, so that's always nice. But let's see what's up here first. Ooh, we got salt. Salt is incredibly good. It's like the best luxury resource, because it gives food. Um, but yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to settle a city here, build a citadel here, and maybe a fort. And yeah, we're gonna de we're definitely going to be fighting Greyfield early on, that's for sure. But it would be nice to see what other COs we have next to us. So I'm going to send this worker down here. And we're going to get our National College on the next turn. So that's really going to boost our science by a massive amount. <laughs> know this vermin! Consider your days numbered, for I, King Greyfield the Mighty, will not rest like <laughs> until scum like you have been wiped clean from this earth. Okay, he's just like Alexander. He just keeps denouncing you over and over again. Okay, I'm guessing his denounce willingness is like 10 plus. So, yeah, we're not going to be friends with Greyfield, nor am I going to try. But uh, who knows? Maybe we can find some allies and convince them to declare war on him. That'd be good. Anyway, let's settle the city. Boom. Sturm's Citadel. What a nice coastal little city. That's, that's cute. Anyway, I think I need some help against these Barbarians right here, even though I have the Honor Tree. On Deity, you have no bonus against Barbarians, so they're kind of hard to take down. So, uh, yeah, we have our National College built, so that means we're going to get replaceable parts in 16 turns. Honestly, I'm probably going to go for a Black Crystal. It is just such a strong building. It's going to increase the every single tile around my city by a massive amount. Um, as for this city, a water mill is tempting to food, can be nice, but honestly, I think I'm just gonna go for a black crystal here too, because my happiness is kind of shit right now, so I don't really care about growing my city that much. Right, I'm just gonna explore a little bit. Ooh, I'm tempted to take a worker from Greyfield, actually. It'd be kind of cool to do that, but let's get some more ivory, probably some iron that we can sell, um, once we get strategic resources. We're always not gonna sell them to Greyfield, but it would be nice to, um... It would be nice to uh, sell them to the other leaders. We haven't met anyone else yet, though. So we have a unit promotion here. Very good. I'm probably going to grab Drill because there's so much rough terrain around Greyfield's HQ. And that's probably where I'm going to be doing a lot of my early game fighting. So I'm going to do that. And let's explore. Mm. There's a lot of resources here, but I hate settling cities in the tundra. It's just not worth it. So I'm probably not going to settle there. Anyway. Ooh, we got Aluminium. Aluminium is also another very important resource in the late game. Let's see what we have here. Oh, yeah, Greyfield has a lot of riflemen. A lot of riflemen. I probably can't move too far away with my riflemen, because if Greyfield declares war on me early on, I will need them around my city. Uh, but obviously, I can, wait I can wait until replaceable parts is a little bit closer to being researched. Oh, hello there. So yeah, I'm going to do this, uh, I'm going to wait with this great general, and I might not construct a citadel right away, but I'm going to try and construct it as soon as possible. Yeah, look at that. Oh, Waylon's Mansion, that is fantastic. Oh, I love it. Oh, hi there, Barbarian Encampment, how are you doing? Boom. Alright, clearing the Barbarian Encampment gives us 34 culture, that is so nice, it speeds up our policy acquisition by so much, I love it. All right, so yeah, we're going to be settling our third city. Our, our happiness is not very good right now, so we really need to try and meet some of the other leaders so we can start trading with them. Otherwise, our happiness is going to become a big issue. Okay, Greyfield is building up for a sneak attack. That didn't take long. That didn't take long at all. All right. Um, all right, settle the city. Uh, we need that citadel. So yeah, it's time to send our riflemen back. As much as I'd like to kill this barbarian encampment, I don't have the time for it because Greyfield is already plotting against us. And this is going to be very bad. So, in this city, we need walls. Uh, although, getting some food might be good as well. Or otherwise, the city is going to starve, I'm afraid. So, let's wipe out this barbarian encampment. Oh, who's this? Oh, hello! So, another nation has come forth. Welcome. I am Kumbai, commanding officer of Yellow Comet's Imperial Army. Tasked with protecting our secret nation from all transgressions. I am an honorable warrior, but a warrior nonetheless. Lovely. Combi's in the game. Maybe he can help us fight Greyfield. He does have copper, but he doesn't have any other resources, so we're gonna get an embassy with him. And his HQ is all the way over here, so 
Let me show you Kumbai's unique units. I think he had the Battlecopter, if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, here we go. Battlecopter. So it's a helicopter gunship that has a bonus against infantry and other helicopters. And it's also cheaper to make production-wise. You can spam them a lot, which is kind of nice. Uh, and he also has the Tactics Room, which is a unique military academy, which grants two culture. And it also gives unique uh, promotions to the unit as it's built. I don't know how good these unique promotions are, but that's actually like one of my favorite bonuses with Civ, when, when units can get like uh, unique promotions, like the Indonesians and the, and the Zulu. Uh, I don't know how good they are, but usually they're pretty good. So, anyway, let's uh, send the Rifleman back to get healed. And uh, yeah, we probably need all our Riflemen around Lash's Laboratory, because I have a feeling that Greyfield is going to attack us. In fact, that's exactly what our spies revealed to us, so. I couldn't help but notice you're expanding rather close to our positions. State your intentions. We'll settle lands where we please, dude. I'm stern. Yeah, he's not gonna like that. <laughs> he's not gonna like that at all. So, uh, oh, there is a border here of a player I have not met. A blue border. Let's go and see. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, Master Foresight of Lazuria. Greetings, stranger. I am General Forsyth, commander of the Lasurian army. I may be a man of war with a history and a reputation to match, but rest assured, I am a soldier, not a killer. Well, nice to meet you, Forsyth. I'm guessing he's probably very honorable. Let's try trading iron with him. Do you want iron, Forsyth? He does not. Maybe pay a little bit less for it? No? He doesn't want iron at all. Okay, that's fine. Let's just get an embassy with him. So, okay, he's very close to Greyfield. Uh-oh, Forsyth and Greyfield together. That's not gonna end well, is it? Uh, so let's take a look at Forsyth. Uh, so he... Uh, his bonus is that he gets great generals, which is kind of cool. And uh, forts provide culture, which is also really cool. And his unique uh, build, uh, unit is a duster. It's a stronger fighter, essentially, that has bonus against other fighters. And it's really good at intercepting. And he also has the anti-tank, which is a... Uh, basically, it's an, an anti-tank with range. So, it's kind of like a Gatling gun. It has one range. So, this is very strong. I really like the unique units of these guys, by the way. It's really well done. So, uh, we can't steal any tanks. But I'm going to send one of them over to Kanbai's HQ. And I don't think we need counterintelligence at the moment. So, I guess we can... Have we discovered... Uh, yeah, we go. Here we go. Lasurian Army HQ. I say we go to the Lasurian Army HQ and we start spying on Forsyth as well. If we get caught, he's gonna dislike that a little bit, but I think we have no choice, really. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna construct my Citadel. Boom. This right here is a defensible location that I very much doubt Greyfield will be able to get through. Because it's behind a river, which grants a defense bonus, and it's on high ground, and it's on rough terrain. So, uh, yeah, I would very much like to see Greyfield try to get out of this one. I do need the sheep, though. My, my city's starving. It's not good. We need to go on food focus here. Otherwise, we're going to lose even more citizens, which is not good. So, uh, how are we doing right here? We're working all the tiles that we have improved. So, there's no point in improving tiles further. So, I'm going to send my worker down here to improve some tiles around Storm Citadel. How are we doing right here? Uh, we are still unhappy, sadly. So, we're, our cities are not growing very quickly. I see you have chosen the path of autocracy. No matter what the world throws that are in our path, we will overcome them all. What well, as proof that our <laughs> that strength is what shall write our destiny. That was a hard sentence to read for some reason. Okay, so yeah, Greyfield is definitely building up for an attack here. Uh, I'm not going to get replaceable parts until nine more turns, so I hope he doesn't have great war infantry yet. Oh, I could block the settler. That's kind of funny. Let's do that. I love blocking the AI, it always screws with their movement, they don't quite know how to handle it. So, uh, yeah, let's just keep sending our guys in. Having a military garrison is pretty strong when you go honor, because you get extra culture and happiness from it, so I should probably try to keep a garrison. In fact, I might even send these guys back to garrison at Storm Citadel, so I get that happiness and culture bonus. And I've already discovered uh, Foresight, so I don't think there's that, maybe there's someone over here. But I think I'm going to send my Rifleman back again, because, um, yeah, Greyfield is definitely, he's definitely working up a strike force, as you can see right here. Yeah, he's definitely moving towards me. Uh, so this is going to be scary. Oh. Though I am hesitant to fire the opening shots of what may be a terrible war, I fear that Greyfield will not entertain any notion of peace. To avert destruction, intervention may be necessary. This is hilarious. Forsyth attacking Greyfield. Oh my god. Um, I very much want him to do this, but I'm going to ask him for 10 turns to prepare. 
So in 10 turns, I will declare war on Greyfield. I think that will give me time to set up. That will also give me great war infantry, which is pretty important. So yeah, I definitely think this is this is what we want. So uh, Greyfield is constructing the Brandenburg Gate. That's not really a wonder I care much about. So I'm okay with that. So should we get a black crystal or should no? We need walls because this city is gonna come under fire. Believe you me, it's gonna come under heavy fire. So, in fact, I'm going to go improve those sheep, but then I'm probably going to build a fort here. Uh, alternatively, I can leave these tiles open because uh, I want them to surround the fort, but I'm probably going to build a fort here, I think. Probably not a bad idea. So, anyway, uh, let's just keep a garrison here. Yeah, probably a good idea, but we need to produce more units. We're not going to win with these units right here, and we also want the war because it fuels our economy, so... It's actually not a bad thing. Welcome, Great Emperor. I'm pleased to see that you have also chosen to follow the path of autocracy. Okay, so Foresight is an autocracy guy. I am actually kind of surprised. I didn't expect him to be. So, uh, yeah. Uh, we're going to get replaceable parts in seven turns. That's very good. We can probably build a Circus, I think, just to get some extra happiness. In fact, Circus Maximus might, might also be a good idea, but uh, we have the Black Crystal right now, so this city is going to grow like crazy. So I'm very happy to see that. Um, let's send these guys back as well. We're going to have to improve the sheep to get some food. Very important. And let's go get those truffles for that happiness bonus as well. So things are going pretty well right now. I think uh, Greyfield will be hard-pressed to attack into the Citadel right here. It's going to hurt him very badly. So I'm very excited to see this. Um... Okay, so Count Steel from Lasuria. Our spies can't really do a whole lot, but I still want to keep them there because they still give me information. So uh, I think I'm going to go for a castle next. Uh, I, I really need defensive buildings. This is uh, incredibly important. And uh, yeah, we're going to garrison a unit inside here to get some happiness and culture. But we also really need to get some artillery up. This is actually incredibly important. So our happiness is looking a lot better now, which is nice. But... Uh, yeah, uh, once Foresight attacks Greyfield, I am probably just going to hold my ground here and try to whittle down his forces. Because if you don't know, Citadels are very strong. Whenever enemy units end their turns next to a Citadel, they take 30 damage. Just 30 flat damage. Doesn't matter how strong the unit is. Just 30 flat damage. It's incredibly busted. And that is very strong, especially when you put the Citadel in a defensive location like this, behind a river and on high ground. Uh, I don't think Greyfield will be able to bust through this. And I'm also fortifying my riflemen, so every turn their defense strength increases, I think up to 25%. So these will be heavily fortified Great War Infantry on a Citadel. I would very much like to see Greyfield try to bust through that. I don't think he will. Now, we do need to start building units. Um, we need more units if we are to fight Greyfield. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to build the... Hmm, kind of want to build a Heroic Epic. Maybe the Forge... That'll give us extra production and bonus towards land units. I think I'm going to go Forge, and then I'm going to go Armory. And we're going to start building some artillery, because we need some artillery support here if we want to win this war. So, okay, we're building a Black Crystal in Sturm Citadel, which is good. And, uh, yes, yeah, so let's take a look at uh, uh, Foresight's forces here. He does have Riflemen. He has uh, artillery. What about Combi? What is he up to? He also has a lot of artillery, which is good to see. And I am probably going to... Hmm. I don't want to ruin this fortification bonus. I'm going to go around here because, again, I want Greyfield to completely surround the Citadel. That would be pretty cool. So, But I'm also contemplating building forts on both of these tiles right here. Because I will need it, trust me. The defensive bonus is going to be necessary. Forts increases the defensive power of your units by 25%. So, uh, or sorry, 50% actually. So if you combine this with fortification bonuses, it's very hard to dislodge enemies that are fortified in uh, forts. So, And the Citadel will also be incredibly useful. But Greyfield has a lot of artillery, so that kind of worries me a little bit. Not gonna lie. I think I'm gonna do this. And yeah, it's time to build a fort. It's definitely time to build a fort, and we can finally finish off the military tradition policy now. So that completes the honor tree. That gives us gold every time we kill enemies. That is fantastic. That is absolutely fantastic. Now, uh, Lashes Laboratory, probably we need a uh, black crystal here. We need, we need to work these tiles. It's actually incredibly important. Um, maybe I should build... 
Maybe I should get an arsenal, but... Sonya has informed me that Greatfield is planning something behind your back. They may have fought themselves, thought themselves clever with such deceit, but you shall prove them wrong with honor. I love these lines. They're so fucking good. I love it. All right, so... Uh, that's okay, Greyfield. You can attack me as much as you want. I, I'm, I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it with these Citadels right here. And now I also have Great War Infantry. Boom. So, uh, they have 50 combat strength, which is a lot more than the Rifleman. I think Greyfield also has, uh, oh, he doesn't have Great War Infantry yet, actually. So this might go better than I thought. And as for the Black Hole HQ, let's get that military base up and let's start getting some artillery. As for our unique techs, I'm probably going to go with Railroad, I think, so we can get some railroads between our cities. That's going to be very, very helpful. And we, I'm going to get started on that fort, actually. It's going to be important, so... Uh, recruit Clone Olaf discovered that a Lasurian army is currently marching a surprise attack against another civilization. That's probably Foresight attacking Greyfield, I imagine. Because that's what he said he would do. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be great. I think once we get the pincer attack done, uh, like Foresight will attack him from the west. I will kind of bleed him from the from the south. I'm not going to attack him, but I'm going to force him to come and attack me. So, uh, that's going to be really good, I think. So, I am going to build a fort here, though. 50% defense strength. Four, five turns to build a fort. All right. I'm okay with that. I can probably live with that. And we have the military academy done, so let's start the artillery production. We want to set up a defensive line of artillery behind our city. Uh, Greyfield is going to hit us really hard. You can see how many units he has. He's also building ships, which is really scary. Um, let's get the iron production going. And uh, we have a Great War Infantry here. But I'm going to I'm gonna keep one Great War Infantry behind in the capital for that garrison bonus. In fact, I want to send one down here too. Because it's two culture and one happiness. That is actually pretty consequential. But I'm expecting Foresight to tell me to attack Greyfield. So, oh, the new Rubenel army has denounced an unmet player. Okay. So, Greyfield is denouncing COs I have not yet met. That is actually kind of funny. All right. So, Sturm Citadel, what are we going to do here? Do we have... Mil yeah, we have the Military Academy here. So, let's just go ahead and produce artillery. We're going to need a lot of artillery to go up against Greyfield. Uh, this is going to be a bloody war. <laughs> I can already tell. Uh, he has a lot of units. A lot of frigates that are going to get upgraded to battleships. Oh, is he moving towards Foresight? Oh, oh, there we go. The time for war against Greyfield has come. Yes. Sorry, I've changed my mind. No, no. Let's get this started. Let's go. There we go. This is going to be epic, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, he, I hope he diverts a lot of forces towards my Citadel. Yeah, I likes to do that. All right, ladies... And gentlemen, look forward to the next part as we declare war on King Greyfield. Uh, hope you guys are enjoying this playthrough. Give it a like and a comment if you are. Let me know what you think about it. Uh, I'm on vacation now, so there won't be any streams this week. Just this Let's Play. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Uh, I'm probably on the cabin barbecuing as we speak. So, but, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to this war. It's going to be great. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.